amidst the sea of first-person indie horror games that come out constantly, sometimes it's hard to find games that take place in the feudal Japan setting. So when I heard of a first-person psychological indie horror game that was coming out that took place in that precise setting, I was excited to check it out. Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy and this is my non-spoiler review for Ikai for the PS5. Ikai follows the story of Naoko, a priestess who lives in a shrine in the mountains of Japan alongside her uncle who is a priest too. One day, Naoko leaves to do the laundry on the river and she eventually loses consciousness and awakes to find everything engulfed by darkness and evil Jokai. Naoko goes back to the shrine and it is now her responsibility to stop these Jokai because whoever started this has a grudge against her. The game's story is presented through dialogue, gameplay sequences that illustrate events, and through lore that you find in the collectible items that you find throughout the game. And I have to say that Ikai's story is basic, and the story presentation is lacking. The game's plot starts a little bit abruptly, and the way the story progresses feels very gamey and not intricate enough. The game features Japanese and English voice acting, which is nice. The voice acting in English is decent and gets the job done. In terms of personality, Naoko comments a lot throughout the game, and yet despite of this, she lacks character development or well-developed and defined personality. One of Ikai's strongest aspects is the visuals. The game goes for a realistic look and has some very nice lighting. The game takes place in feudal Japan and the developers did a good job of capturing the aesthetics of a feudal Japan shrine and setting. The game features multiple jokai and their design is underwhelming. Some of them look pretty good, but others just look weird and are far from scary. In terms of performance, all I can say is that the game ran stable. I had no frame rate drops whatsoever. I think the game was running at 60 FPS at 1080p, but I could not find the game specs on PS5 to confirm this. Besides the visuals, the other department in which Ikai fares well is in the music and sound design. The game features some very creepy music to create atmosphere, and it does a decent job. The game features directional audio, and that comes into play at certain points in certain gameplay sections. So let's talk about the gameplay. Ikai is a first-person psychological horror game. The game features puzzles, stealth, chase sequences, and drawing. The puzzles are a mixed bag. Some are interesting or basic, and others are incredibly obtuse and very hard to figure out. The game compensates this by giving you hints through Naoko's comments. However, during the most obtuse puzzles, her comments are not helpful at all. The stealth in this game is kept to a minimum, and it's extremely basic. Chase sequences serve as an entertaining way to change the pacing of the game. And the drawing mechanic is the one thing you will be doing constantly in the game and even that is extremely basic. All you must do is draw the pattern on the paper. So in that sense, this mechanic is not used in a very creative way. The game also features collectibles in the form of papers that you find with drawings and information regarding the different jokai that are related to the game in some aspect, which is pretty cool. In terms of its structure, the entire game takes place in the shrine, which is not very big. The game's progression is divided by the jokais you must face. For each jokai, there is a gameplay segment that will require you to explore around the shrine and complete certain tasks to defeat that jokai. The exploration in this game is very underwhelming. The shrine is a small place and gets boring really fast. And sometimes finding even certain items can be kind of confusing. Ikai is a short game, taking around 2 to 3 hours to finish depending on how fast you play. So let's talk about the cons and the pros of this game. So the first weak point of this game is the puzzles. Like I said before, some of the puzzles in Ikai are very basic and others are kind of entertaining, but quite a few of them are hard to understand. In these puzzles, you find yourself wasting time just trying to understand what the game wants from you 
and it can be very frustrating. The second thing that I would point out is the underwhelming story and story presentation. Ikai's story is one of its weak points. It doesn't do enough to make the story compelling and engaging. The way the story interconnects with the gameplay is another problem. Throughout the game, you are facing Jokais that really have nothing to do with the core plot of the game. Only at the end do you actually deal with the Jokai that is integral to the story, making the gameplay and core plot of the game disconnected in a way. And last but not least, underwhelming gameplay. Ikai's gameplay is not only too basic, it is also not engaging. The game had very lackluster exploration and stealth, and the drawing mechanic is used in such a basic way that it really doesn't add anything compelling to the gameplay, despite that being its most distinguishable feature. So regarding the pros of this game, I would have to mention two. First of all, the visuals and setting. The game's visuals are really good, they go for a realistic look, and they manage to do a very good job with it. Plus, the setting of the game is interesting, and it's not something that you see very often, at least from my perspective, in horror games. Secondly, the music and sound design get the job done. The music and sound design of the game are decent and help to create atmosphere and to create interesting gameplay sequences. So in conclusion, if I was to sum up Ikai with one word, that would be underwhelming. The only strong points of the game are its visuals, music, and sound design, which are good and get the job done. However, the game is dragged down by a lackluster story, a story presentation, and lackluster gameplay that goes from extremely basic to frustrating and obtuse. In the end, I feel that Ikai is a very middle of the world first person horror game that doesn't do enough to engage the player and fails to stand out amidst the sea of horror games that have similar gameplay elements. For this reason, I recommend Ikai but with caution. If you plan to pick up this game, be aware of its shortcomings and go with the expectation of an entertaining but lackluster experience. So that's gonna be it for my non-spoiler review for Ikai for the PS5. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.